And I have a very special guest for you today, a young lady that I've made a lot of westerns with, and I'm sure that you all know her. She's the queen of the westerns, Miss Peggy Stewart. Hi, Peg. Hi, Sunset. Hi out there. I never know whether to call him Sunset, Sweet Thing, Gunzel, or what. <laughs> <laughs> Just call him in time to eat. <laughs> That's right. That's true. <laughs> oh, goodness, Peg. It's been a long time. It sure has, darling. Yes. And you're looking good and love seeing you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. The Westerns, we go back to, what, about 19 and... You afraid to tell? <laughs> yeah, uh, 42, I think it is. 42, 42 or 43, 43 something like think. that. 43, I think. 1943. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. When we were both brunettes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. We were both brunettes. I should have thought of that. <laughs> Always stealing my lines. <laughs> Yeah, but you blush better than I do. <laughs> That's your red shirt. I know. That's your red shirt. Uh, you always say that, too. <laughs> I love his oh, innocence. God. He can still blush. <laughs> you know, we had, back in those days, we had some nice, nice heavies out there at Republic, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, did we ever. But I think both Sunsets and my favorite was old, not a heavy, was old Tom London. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. Tom was one of the greatest. That's true. It was like a threesome. Yeah, Tom, um, he started out as a leading man way many years back, and then he got in a fight and got his nose broke. Yeah, that's and then, true. And then he started playing the bad guy. He started playing the bad guy and playing golf. <laughs> 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 Which he more did just all the time. You know, he and Bob Wilkie used to go out all the time, every every moment they had to yeah. play. Yeah, Bob Wilkie started on our movies, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well right after he did... Um, which one in Santa Fe Saddlemates, one of those with us. Uh, he went and did the high noon, you know. Wilkie? Yeah. I didn't realize oh, that. Oh, yeah, he was he was a top top gun in high noon. Well, no wonder he was snooty for a while. <laughs> That's my Yeah, working with Gar Gary Cooper. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Peggy, what was your horse's name? Smokey. Smokey. Smokey, yeah. But he wasn't mine, you know. He he's came out of Huckin' Stables. Uh -huh. Yeah. But Cactus was yours, wasn't Cactus, it? Yeah. Cactus, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, Monty's but, was, uh, what was he called him, Sam or something? something I don't remember, I swear. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, the Smoke, I just adored him. Uh, he little, was a nice horse. Uh-huh. Yeah, little nice. bitty tummy on him mm -hmm. and little... A lot of Arabian in him, little yeah, ankles. He was a good running insert horse. Yeah, could beat you. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that paddock? We, we called it the paddock up at Iverson's, and the running insert road started at the little house and came yeah, up the hill. Came up. The yeah, hill. and you couldn't uh, see the car, the camera car, but the horses, you know, would hear that camera and the car start roaring like crazy, and there was that little ring right under the rock. Yeah. And they, we just kept walking in a circle because those horses would go crazy. They're nervous. They wouldn't yeah. stand still. They, I they, know. They had to be moving. And then Thackeray, as he get past us, okay, and <laughs> that, was, that was fun. Really yeah, the the it was down here, and there was trees up here at the top. Yeah. The camera truck would be back here and coming down this way, and we were back here winding up over here. Yeah. And the minute that camera truck is out, them horses. That's gone. right. <laughs> That's right. I know it. <laughs> I love that story Kirk Allen told about, you know, he didn't ride, you know, and he didn't want to ride a horse. He was scared of horses and all that. Do you remember his interview there at the, at the ranch where we did that? And uh, Yeah, but I forgot what he said. Well, he, he was telling exactly what happened. He, he said, no, you're not going to ride any horse, you know, and this and that, and this Superman talking, you know. So finally they told him, they said, well, the horse is trained and everything. You just set up on there and hold on. And, and the faster the horse goes, the easier it is to ride, you know. So he said the camera, he said, now the horse will take off after the camera. He said, you don't do anything, but just hold on. So we was winding up, the camera truck went by, and the horse run out and got behind the camera and running in a dead run, you know. And the cameraman, the director, hollered at him, says, Kirk looks scared. He says, I am scared. <laughs> of course, I'm scared I went on death. tape. <laughs> Trying to smile through it. <laughs> and he said, kept running in a dead run, you know, and he told him, look back over his shoulder. The outlaws chasing him. He looked back over the shoulder, and he was going in a dead run, and when the cameraman hollered, cut, 
and the horse threw on his brakes and went over his head and <laughs> landed on his head and said he got up and he started to hit the horse and he said, no, no, it's not the horse's fault. <laughs> you know, you know uh, who else was scared of horses? Not the, well, he didn't like them and he was a little bit afraid of them too. It was Bobby Blake. Bobby Blake, yeah. oh yeah, little beer. Yeah. yeah. He'd run when Millie, the hairdresser, wanted to put the wig on, and he'd run also when the wrangler said, Come on, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see. Who doubled Bobby on that? Some woman. Or Nellie Walker. One of the... Mm, no, there were... Uh, uh, oh, gosh, he's a good stunt guy. Rex Rossi? Rex did some, but Ogie... Uh, Ogie Gomez, what's that? Augie Gomez, Augie, Augie, Augie Gomez, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Augie, Augie was good. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. was good, he was a good knife thrower, too. Yeah. Good yeah, knife thrower, and also a good man with, with gun belts and all that. He made a lot of gun belts. I didn't belts. know that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we had a Tex. Mm -hmm. Remember Tex made the purses and everything, yeah. too. That is uh, Tex Bar. Was it? Tex Bar, yeah. yeah. No, Tex, Tex Terry. Terry. Terry, Tex Terry, Tex Terry yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. poor old he Tex. He doubled Smiley. No wonder Smiley got all those things to give <laughs> to everybody for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm figuring that out. I didn't think he'd spend that kind of money he's getting from Tex. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> if you want to work, give me that purse. Right. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then Tex probably have yeah. to give it back. Poor old Tex passed away, you know, a couple years ago. Did he? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that. he he had a place up in Indiana. To, no, yeah, Indiana, where he's retired. Well, Sonny, let's face it, we're archives. Yeah, archives in the business. That's right. Yeah, the son of a gun. There's not too many of us around. No, there's not too many. Of us Slim, of us. Andrews, and Pat Buttram, I think, are the only sidekicks. The left. only sidekicks left is Slim and Pat. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Cannonball doesn't want to be called a sidekick no more. Yeah, Duff. Yeah. Taylor. No, he don't want to be called a sidekick. Because yeah. he was sidekick for deep sidekick for Tex Ritter and three or four other guys. Yeah. Before he went into into the big time. Yeah. I think I'll become a sidekick. I'll be your sidekick. Okay. I'll promise you not to <laughs> kick you too hard in the sides. <laughs> I'm afraid you wouldn't be there when I needed you. You'd probably be someplace talking. Or... Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> Thank you, Peg. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode with Peggy Stewart. Until we see you again, so long, goodbye, and may God bless you. Bye now.